All right, big news tonight out of Capitol Hill Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Lindsey Graham of South Carolina demanding answers from the FBI on the now, what, third infamous raid, this case, Roger Stone's home in Tampa, Florida. Why did the FBI send, what, 27 agents armed with rifles, body armor to arrest Stone for lying to Congress? He's not El Chapo. Uh, the senator also wants to know if CNN fake news was tipped off by the Mueller team to get their exclusive footage, of course, of this raid. Oh, they picked the perfect day. Joining us now with reaction uh, to all this breaking news tonight, Senator Lindsey Graham. Wait, you're in New Thank York. You. Good to see you. I what am. are you doing? Thank you very much. Um, I won't. Sp I don't think that was about abortion in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Right. You once sponsored a bill that I agreed with. Well, I have it right now. How many nations in the world allow abortion on demand after? 20 weeks, which is the fifth month. Seven. Seven nations in the entire world allow abortion on demand after 20 weeks. They're talking about abortion during <laughs> the actual birthing. So my bill says, uh, unless there's a life of the mothers at stake, uh, result of rape or incest, you can't have abortion on demand in the fifth month. I think most Americans... So you have four months to decide. Most Americans will be fine with that. Um, <clears throat> Let me go to this letter to yeah. Director Ray. Yeah. And I'll be honest, I, I kind of expect and have expected more out of Director Ray because under James Comey, we now have two criminal investigations ongoing, the general counsel and his deputy director. Um, I think there should be far more. Um, we hopefully will get to that. You have said mm -hmm. you will get into this. Talk about what should he do? Why are we doing this to people for process crimes. And why does it ever happen to all the other liberals like Clapper, Brennan, Mills, Aberdeen, uh, all these other people that have lied to Congress? Why don't they get the pre-dawn raid? So let me tell you my job. My job is to provide oversight to the Department of Justice as the judiciary chairman. Love the FBI, respect them. So do I. But somebody needs to watch those who watch us. I'm going to tell you all I can about the FISA warrant and how you used an unverified dossier paid for by a political party. Uh, without any verification, oh, how that was Russian used lies. Warrant. Yeah, so mm, how ironic. But I want to know why to execute a search warrant with somebody who had a lawyer. The what, best way to get Roger Stone is to tell him CNN wants to talk to you. He'll he'll show up Ouch. wherever you want him to show up. Right. So the bottom line is this seems to me over the top, and I don't know what the message was being sent, but I personally didn't like it. You know, I've been a prosecutor, defense attorney. It seemed to be sending the wrong message that if you cross Mueller, look what's going to happen to you. Mueller, do your job, but these tactics are unacceptable given the level of threat here. I look at his team. He has a Clinton Foundation attorney, only Democratic donors, no Republican donors, and the man who was excoriated for withholding exculpatory evidence, put four innocent people in jail, overturned Fifth Circuit, Tens of thousands of Enron employees, Enron accounting, lost their jobs. This he lost 9-0 in the Supreme Court. He's the lead guy. Well, if they're sending a message, I'm sending a message to them. You're, you're accountable to the Congress. And we're going to find out what you... Well, they better answer my letter. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> if I were them, I would. And we'll get to the bottom of FISA. If somebody signed off on something they didn't verify yeah. and didn't corroborate... Just put it this way. What if the roles were reversed? What if the Republican Party hired a former British agent to go to Russia to dig up dirt on Hillary Clinton... And hated Clinton. And everything in the dossier was a bunch of BS. Do you think that might be front-page news everywhere all the time? Your... <laughs> the Grassley Graham memo, infamous memos, yeah. set bulk of information. That sure. means they committed a fraud on a court, and they never told the court, which they knew according to Bruce Orr's testimony, right. that they paid for. All right, I got to get to immigration. Okay. Um, a lot of conservatives... Looked at Donald Trump, New York businessman, had don donated to Republicans and Democrats. At one point, was actually pro-choice. He, he's pro-life now. Right. He kept his promises on judges, taxes, uh, regulations, energy. Now he's trying to fight for the wall. I I'm telling people. <laughs> I told people that he's going to govern as a conservative. Right. Some doubted me. I think I've been proven right. Um, and I would say now I'm 99% certain, either. The Defense Department budget or emergency money is going to be used, and he is relentless and tenacious. <laughs> and changing strategy is not losing. 
Uh, so to everybody who's wondering how this movie ends, it ends this way. We're going to build a wall one way or the other. I just talked to the president 10 minutes before I came oh, on wait, your show. I, I know for a fact because it was in the green room. <laughs> so here's yep. the point we're trying to make. The $5.7 billion represents 10 locations, according to the Department of Homeland Security, that a barrier would make the most difference. It's a professionally designed plan. If you look at the 10 locations on the border where the professionals say we need a barrier, it adds up to 5.7 billion. Every Democrat virtually has voted for 634 miles of fencing. When you ask people where are the 10 locations of the 634 miles we need something up now, they gave us the location and the price tag is 5.7 billion. The president's not doing anything crazy. What's crazy is that they're fighting him after having voted the way they did in the past. Just in the Obama a few years ago. Uh, Just a few and the president to February his credit 20, offered 18. Everything offered things Democrats dreamed about. So, DACA, so let dreamers, me just let me tell you what But not the, amnesty. Here's the here's the conversation. The president wants to work with Democrats. He doesn't the shutdown is not the way to get a result. He did it because he had nobody to work with. Democrats are overplaying their hand. If you want TPS Last reform question. and DACA reform, you'll get you it can now. Get it, but you won't get it. But you after won't the get 15th. it if he does it by himself. I'm worried. I only have 10 seconds about your Republican colleagues. I'm worried too. If you don't stand by this president, by. every president, Bush, Obama, and Trump sent troops to the border. What's unusual about that? Nothing. What's the difference between sending a troop to secure the border and Honestly, build a barrier while they're there? He has you, all the power in the world to do this. To my Republican colleagues, stand, stand behind him. Exactly. It's good for the country. And Stop if you don't, you're going to pay a price. Good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you. Appreciate it.